Our last story today is from South Africa, where a nine-year-old girl made an extraordinary discovery when a fragment of a meteorite fell from the sky while she was playing outside. The curious child found the warm rock in her grandparents' garden. After weeks of study, researchers confirmed that the rock was a rare meteorite fragment, which they named Ngweba after the town where it was found. Our final report gets you all the details about this rare meteorite. Space has always been a subject that captivates and astonishes humans, an infinite frontier that seems to hold endless surprises. But recently, it wasn't a seasoned scientist or a sophisticated satellite that stirred the space community. Instead, it was a curious nine-year-old girl from a small town in South Africa who made a discovery that left space enthusiasts buzzing with excitement. It was a day like any other in the sun-soaked town of Nueva. Elise Dutwat, a bright-eyed young girl, was enjoying a day of play at her grandparents' house. As she played under the clear sky, a sudden rumble of thunder caught her attention. Looking up, she saw an incredible sight, a brilliant streak of blue, white and orange light tearing across the heavens. She also saw something fall from the sky. Elise then set off to find this fallen object. She found it near a wild fig tree in her grandparents' garden. Excited by her discovery, Elise rushed to tell her mother. They scored the internet together and concluded that this might just be a meteorite. They then handed it over to experts. It sounded like thunder, then I saw a rock falling out of the sky. And then I went to pick it up and it still felt warm. And then I went to show it to my grandmother and she said it was just a normal piece of rock that fell from the sky. And then my mommy came along and she went to search Google and she said it could be a meteorite. Soon, scientists from Rhodes University, Nelson Mandela University and the University of Witwatersrand were on the case. Their investigation was intense, focusing on the rock's origins, its size, its trajectory and even the speed at which it hurtled through the Earth's atmosphere. They reached an exciting conclusion. The rock was indeed a fragment from a meteorite roughly the size of a motorcycle. Now this wasn't just any meteorite, it was a rare find. Black and shiny on the outside, with a grey, grainy interior speckled with shades of green, weighing less than 90 grams and measuring under 5 centimetres in diameter. This small fragment had travelled an unimaginable distance before landing in the hands of a young girl. In honour of its extraordinary journey and the town where it landed, the scientists named the meteorite Mueba. But how did a piece of cosmic debris find its way to Earth in the first place? The body encounters more and more resistance at that hyperspeed. And so it starts to uh, vibrate, it starts to uh, end up with stresses within it. And if there are pre-existing fractures in the body or fractures that are made through that process, those may open, particularly as that air that can't get out of the way starts to push its way inside the body and heats up and therefore expands, and so ultimately there is this explosion. Elise's story is proof that endless wonders await us in life, sometimes just outside our door. It reminds us that the universe is full of mysteries, and every so often those mysteries fall right into our hands, literally.